All right guys, 416 yard par for us start off today. We're going driver, try to get one in play, gotta keep it out of the rough. How tall is the rough out here, Roy? About 80 mils right now? Yeah. So, gotta find fairways today. Today I played one of the hardest golf courses in Dubai, Jump. Jameer Golf Estates, the Earth Course, home of the DP World Championship. All right, 134 yards. So I got a smooth little pitching wedge here. Ball's quite a bit above my feet, so it should draw in there. Just looking for good contact and get one on the green. This video was filmed a week and a half before the tournament, and the rough was over 80 mils thick, as the starter said. I mean, it's a little short, but it's a good strike to start. From the tees I'm playing off of today, the course plays just over 7,000 yards, which basically means if you don't find the fairway, you're walking away with bogey or worse. That's huge to start off with the four on number one here. Got a par five here, pretty gettable, so just get one in the fairway. I wish I could hit every drive as straight as this one. That should be perfect. All right guys, so I got 233 left into this par five. Um, really happy with that. It's hot out here today. It's 35 degrees plus. Gotta walk because they're keeping carts off the course to get the, the course ready for the big tournament, so. This three iron was hit so good. I think that should be on the green. I had to yell for it because the worker's working, but that was a great strike. I'm not a great bunker player, so honestly, I was just trying to get the ball out. And to hole three, par four, just over 400 yards, going driver, cut one into the fairway, and hopefully wedge one onto the green. I thought this drive was gonna be good, but it did leak just into the left rough, and you will see how thick and penalizing it is. And this is exactly why you can't miss the fairway, because my ball is absolutely buried now. So I got this to deal with. Tons of bunkers around, so I'm gonna try to miss short right there, and uh, just hopefully I get good contact. So I got 141, going with nine iron. I genuinely wasn't even hoping this ball would get on the green. Just anywhere around the green and not in a bunker. Yeah, I just chased through off the back, but that's exactly where I wanted to land it. So as you guys can see, my ball is buried yet again. So I'm just gonna try to get a little 54 out there. It just needs to get on the green. It will release to the hole. You can see the sweat marks I got going on already as I'm walking, pushing the cart in this heat. Honestly, I'm happy with that. Happy, happy. All right, so we got a really tough par three here, 205 yards into wind, downhill. I'm going five iron. Anything on the green's an unreal shot here, so. Got putt. It wasn't my greatest strike, but I'll take a putt for birdie on this hole. That's what we call the condom shot. Doesn't feel very good, but it was safe. Even through four, baby. So just a three iron here, trying to get it in play, but hitting a little bit of a pull into the right rough is not ideal. Oh, it just stayed in the rough. Well, guys, I have 139 yards, but this rough is so thick, so I can't get it up there. So I'm honestly just gonna hack it a little 60 degree, keep it short of the green and try to get it up and down for par. If not, just make bogey. I'd be happy with bogey. This is crazy. It's so thick. Well, now I'm gonna try to chase a nine iron up there. This might just be stupid, but short. whatever. Be short, be short. Well, now I got a really long bunker shot. So this is compounding errors. Again, just focus on pace on these long putts. All right, guys, onto a beautiful par three here. That double bogey puts me at two over now, which, you know what, it is what it is. So we're gonna move on. Try to stick one close, 167 yards, I'm going nine iron. This was just such a mistake. I can't believe I'm watching this video and that I hit nine iron. It was an eight iron all day. I cannot believe that did not get there. I cannot believe that. Wow. Okay, drop some of this. All right, well, try to get this up and down for bogey. I got very lucky there. I hit that very badly, but just ran a little long. Back to back doubles. Four over in the last two holes. That's horrible. All right, guys, that was a really good tee shot. I'm left with 230 yards uphill, downwind. 
miss is definitely left side of the green, so I'm going three iron and just try to miss it on the left side so I don't flirt with those bunkers. Well, not that far oh, left, that. you goof. Only objective is get this ball on the green, guys. Ah, uh, kind of a disappointing par. Still four over. All right, guys, eighth hole, 440 yards. Kind of my nemesis hole. So uh, just a smooth swing driver, get one in play. Oh, that was hit so good. Nemesis, what? All right, got 136 yards left in that front right pin, so I'm going pitching wedge. Miss is definitely a little left, but let's see if we can make a three here. Gotta go. I think it's gonna be pin high. Wasn't my greatest strike, a little off the toe, but it should be good. I didn't hit it. That is so bad. Just laying up with a wedge here because that lip was so steep in front of me. Well, another hole, another horrible layup in the rough. So I got 111. I'm gonna try a hack out a pitching wedge. You, you just cannot be laying it up in the rough out here. So. Yeah, I actually think that's really good. I think. Well, if I could somehow sink this one for par, that would be huge. Finish the front nine off at four over. All right, so that's a bogey here on nine, five over front nine. Okay, I think it just crept into the bark mulch on the left, which I will take over the rough. So I got 106 yards from the bark mulch here. It's gonna go with the smooth 50. I do have just a piece of mulch right in front of my ball. So I'm going with a little bit more club just to guard from being short, so. Just right behind that ball. So left with an arguably tougher shot here. Now it's still in the mulch, so let's try to get it on the green. That spun so much. Got to put a car. Well, another bogey. Six over. Got some work to do. This is a huge risk versus reward hole, and with that tee shot, I'm gonna so good. reap the benefits. So that tee shot was hit really well. I only got 56 yards left in. I'm going 54 degree. Gonna keep it a little bit low and let it kind of chase up there. Stop, stop, stop. That was exactly what I was trying to do. It did get a bad second hop, but it still worked out. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the driver's feeling good today. 140 yards uphill into wind. I am going nine iron. I'm kind of in between nine and eight just because of the wind. It's a little right, but it was a really good strike. So I just hope it's a good number. I needed to take the pin out. I was in with the pin wasn't in. Oh, I really think that was in it without the pin, so. Not a par, but disappointing. Man, that's a heartbreaking par there, but uh, onto a par three, 170 yards uphill into win, going seven iron, whatever. Try to make it back. I hit that so bad. Somehow short of the bunker, which is nice, actually. Wow, horrible strike. So obviously a horrible seven iron to end up this short, um, but I'm in the rough, got 60 degree short side, but I feel good about this one. Just get over the bunker and same thing. If I make bogey, whatever.
Uh, I just moved more than I thought, man. I thought it was just a left edge putt. This ball said hepatitis. See you later. We're left. That was hit so bad. That was like one of the worst tee shots I've ever hit. So I got well over 240 left into this par five and I don't even know what my best option is for getting this out and making par still, so. Well, after hitting all that lumber, found the rough and actually a good lie in the rough somehow, some way. So I got 140 yards downhill, downwind. I got pitching wedge. <laughs> Let's see if we can sneak a birdie out of this. Way left on me. That went way left on me. Jeez. A little 54 degree here. I just didn't fly it far enough. Staring bogey in the face right now. Need to make this for par. Need to make it. That was such a bad one. All right, guys, hole 15, drivable par 4, 322 yards. Might not get there today with the wind, but can still get one close to the front edge. And another one gone, another one oh, gone. So Man, I lost the touch with driver. Well, I got absolutely nothing. Gonna try to roll a three iron up there. Man. Oh, we are blowing up. Oh, this has just gone from bad to worse. I'm just gonna full swing at 60 degrees and see what happens. I don't know, but that was hit really well. I got such a long par putt here. I would love just a two putt bogey, and then I'll find a way to make a birdie on the last three to get it back to 79. Hole 16, probably the most beautiful uh, hole on this golf course. Even with a perfect drive that lands middle of the fairway, it can run off into the creek. So I'm just hoping my cut kind of holds up against the slope and uh, keeps me short of the creek. And I think that's gonna be in the creek. That was right down the middle. It's so good, but I do think it's just gonna run into the creek though, unfortunately. So as you guys can see, just walking up, this whole fairway is just sloped so severely left to right. And there's a creek that runs up on the right side here so i don't see my ball yet so i'm not super hopeful but uh it's just a beautiful golf hole nonetheless and uh hopefully we can find it and still make a three guys i got so lucky that my ball stayed up i got 83 yards down downwind so just a very soft 60 degree and let's try and make a birdie That released a little bit, but that actually almost went in. So we got a good look at birdie now. So that's what we got left for birdie. Some beautiful views out here. I did not hit a good putt there. Man, disappointing. All right guys, sorry about the wind, but got par 363 yards. I'm going seven iron, way into the wind. I cannot believe that's short. I flushed that and I can't believe the wind also didn't take it more right, but got to chip at it. You can see my ball just right there. Makeable chip, makeable chip, I promise you. So let's let's go uh, walk across this, head to the island green and uh, make it. 54 degree uphill, make it, left to right. Gotta make par now. All right, got a country mile left in, just gonna chase a three iron up the right side. Okay, fair way. All right, 153 yards. I'm going seven iron because the wind is pumping right now. And uh, see if we can end it on a high note, make a bird. Yeah, bailed out right there. Got to put it birdie.
All right, for par 81. Proper. 